This project took all my time in November. I didn't work on my own applications, I almost didn't post on socials, and my sleep schedule was iffy. But yeah, that happens once in a while, just before releases, last weeks before release, often are a little bit of pushing, and I like the results. And check out this onboarding screen. Nice animations, and that is Swift UI only, nothing else. I, I'm really happy with the result. Basically, I built this one. So, yeah, this is travel-focused social network application. Mostly about traveling, trips, there is booking, hotel booking inside and so on. And that is not my own application. <laughs> That's too big for one person application with all the hotel bookings, events and so on. I'm just working as a consultant on this project. But now, when release is done and application version is released, I'm quite happy that I can talk about this application to show what I built, but also I have my time back to spend on my own projects before and after work hours and I can go out work from coffee shop and I can create content again. Whew, this backpack is a little bit too heavy, but probably I should blame myself <laughs> because I'm taking with me a little bit too much just in case things. And yeah, content creation is one of the reasons. Cameras, tripods, you name it. So you may ask why content on social media matters. You may, as indie developer, you can see that home, build your indie applications, release them in the app store and start earning money, right? Well, I wish that would be so easy. If you didn't notice, there are millions of indie app developers in the app store, all of them releasing applications. <laughs> there are so many apps. But luckily for you, less than half of them are doing App Store search optimization. So if you will just do App Store search optimization, you already better than average in the app developer. I wish that would be so easy, right? You just build applications, release them in the App Store by one of the App Store search optimization tools, do some magic and getting downloads. Unfortunately, it is a little bit more challenging because imagine you are building habit tracking application. Okay, you build it, release it in the App Store, what next? So there are, I don't know how many applications which are trying to compete for habit tracking name or atomic habit. Believe me, I know. <laughs> I built one of them as well. It's hard. It's freaking hard. But there is a solution, of course, marketing. And by marketing, I mean marketing outside App Store, out something outside App Store search optimization, basically how to promote your products. And here's the thing, most of indie app developers face two major problems, limited or more often zero marketing budgets. We just basically don't have money to spend on Facebook ads, what else not. And also no massive following to promote applications, no massive audience in target audience grow. But uh, there are good news as well. You don't need any of those to succeed. What you need is consistency and uh, right strategy. And creating content is not so hard as you may expect. This, for example, is content. It can take you a few minutes to create and publish. You can make a photo of your workstation app that you are working and publish it. You can do that in the middle of the workday or at your lunch break. Even photos of your lunch can make sales. Here in caption, I mentioned one of my products in the app accelerator. Will this post make any sales? by the time of posting, I don't know. But what I know for sure, this post definitely can get some likes, this post can definitely get some follows, and yeah, definitely grow my following. Just keep in mind what you are promoting. For example, if you are promoting one of those AI identifying apps, for example, to identify, identify mushrooms, trees, or stones, unlikely post like that will help you. If you are promoting products for indie app developers or developers in general, or maybe you are making some food calorie counting application, this post can work just fine. Of course, not every post should be just about sales. You can share a story behind the scenes as well. It's kind of nice to see that the 
creator behind the content is a real human being as well and not only kind of posting download my app style content but also kind of sharing life insights and so on fun fact about latvia we have about uh, five or six hours of the daylight in the winter so that's bad for those who have full-time office work imagine you are going to the job at about i don't know eight at the morning it's still dark and then you are finishing job at about six or five in the afternoon it is already dark so you do not see sun if you are working full time in office so i'm very happy to work from home and to be able to go for a walk in the middle of the day or just go to the coffee shop and work from there otherwise that can become quite depressing and for sure i know that because i was working i was working regular office job before in my product management job okay back to home to finish work day morning it is new day and I am visit going to visit my friend and maybe get a tattoo as well whatever so remember that post I did yesterday in the coffee shop just quickly snap a photo of me having breakfast late breakfast early lunch whatever it is and my laptop next to it. This uh, post got quite a few views and how much time did I spend on that post? Almost nothing. It was just quick snap and I just wrote a title caption right here so that uh, that took no time. I, I just wanted to show you that it is not necessary to spend enormous amount of time to, to create content. You can do that quite quickly by spending a little bit time in your day. It's not so hard. Another, another way how to do those, uh, how to create content and share what you are doing is to record quickly videos about your day. For example, my friend from Indie App Developers community, Davis, uh, just doing for last, for third months in a row already, he's doing like challenges basically building application in in a month and he is posting daily videos basically what he is doing it's interesting he is basically posting new video every day those are shorts those are quick to make and uh, also it's not kind of hard to come up with content he's just kind of uh, sharing what he is doing and uh, yeah, what are benefits <laughs> from content like that? Quite a lot. There are quite a lot of benefits. So you just sharing, for example, what you are doing. And yeah, then you kind of think, okay, but my product is not for developers. That's fine. You don't need to create content for developers. You can create content for your target audience. If it is, I don't know, uh, young uh, parents, just talk no, do not show technical part of your product, but show how you solve problems that your audience have. That could work. That definitely works. That's uh, tested and <laughs> it was working more than once. For example, that yesterday post with, with me eating lunch. How that helps to my apps for my indie apps? I don't know, there was something like 80, 80 or 90 clicks on my profile. If I have my apps linked in my profile, that could help, right? I could get downloads. If I have 
product uh, to sell to the audience of this post that also could help. Do I have a product like that? Yes. In the App Accelerator, that is the product for everyone who wants to become indie developer. And funny enough, I got a sale yesterday. Was that from this post? I don't know, but I'm I'm 90%, 99% sure that I got that sale just because of my content. Maybe not yesterday's post, maybe post day before, maybe YouTube video last week or even last month, whatever. When you post this content, especially if you are posting long form YouTube videos, that is, I would say, evergreen content. It will get views and it is free advertisement for you. It's not kind of really free free because you are investing time creating this content. So that's at least your time. But I highly recommend to do that for yourself. Do not kind of hire someone, some internet genius to make videos and so on. It's, 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 there are so many benefits of, from doing that yourself. And I will tell you how to do that exactly. What is the best way how to create content for you based on your skills. talking about <laughs> content marketing right so I started I started kind of mm, challenge I will say 100 days challenge so my goal is basically to create content for 100 days in a row and by setting goals I know a very bad way of setting goals that is uh, for example you could set goal to get 50k subscribers on some platform or 100k subscribers or whatever number you come up so the tricky part is that you can't really control that outcome but what you can control is the input you can decide that you will do one short in a day or you will do one YouTube video in a week do not become daily vlogger <laughs> I know Casey Neistat vlogged daily for uh, about 800 days but he's insane or at least was insane back in the days when he was doing that I really liked those videos liked those videos but that's good for him that he are not doing those anymore <laughs> So, do not try to be Casey Neistat, pick input uh, amount of content that you can create wisely. And here is my recommendation and what I am doing. I am going to spend 100 minutes in a day for content creation. Basically, that can be script writing for videos, that can be video recording. This is video recording. I am creating content right now. So that can be video recording, that can be script writing, basically 100 minutes of a day uh, creating content actively. Those could be comments as well, we will talk, talk about that later, but generally creating, not consuming. If you are scrolling TikTok for research for six hours in a day, that's not content creation, active content creation not just consuming and yeah you can switch your brain into research mode when you are consuming analyze what you like why you like what works and so on but okay content creation so yeah if you're planning to participate in this challenge that i just started for myself do 100 days in a row spend 100 minutes of content creation and track your results yeah track 
track your results, uh, track your followers, track what works, what not, to see and know what works and what you would like to do more, you know. Okay, and how to choose what type of content to create and on which platform. Lucky for us programmers, we can create written content as well, but still video and photos works great and if you have even let's say twitter post and you have photo for illustration that will that will perform much better than just text that's just how human brain works when you are picking platform of your choice probably already have your preference one platform where, where you are spending most of the day probably stick with that because you already know what works on this platform and so on if not look at your mm, strengths let's say so let's say so if for example if you are good at writing that could be linkedin that could be twitter that could be reddit basically written content if you're comfortable with video good for you then it is tiktok uh, instagram shorts YouTube Shorts, Instagram Reels, YouTube Shorts, or long-form YouTube, video, YouTube videos. The key is to choose your strengths. And you should be familiar with platform as well, so for developers, honestly, any of those platforms will work. And if you are not familiar with any of those, you are, you are not kind of, I don't know, you, you are not feeling good to be on camera, you don't know what to write about and so on, then start with comments go find on social platform of your choice find content creator which creating content for your audience intentions of content is important as well so you should create content which resonates with your audience if you are not creating content of yourself find the creator who already creating content which can attract your audience and yeah find more than one of course Found con find content creators like that and go to the comment section and be the most valuable person in the comments create the best comments best informative comments and so on provide value in the comments for example if you are on reddit you can go on reddit for example if someone looking for whatever uh, habit tracking application you could go in comments and ask something like that oh out of interest why do you not use product x which is your product uh, that could help you with y with, with this person's problem you know and just like that do not be spammy do not just kind of go and spam in each and every kind of post the same message and so on create discussions provide value in your comments and yeah you will grow your following and you will you will see what kind of content comments also is content what type of content resonates with your audience and when you are ready already to start to create original content good you are already familiar with platform you already know what works what not and yeah just keep posting content on that platform create content about your products create po content about your services create pro content about problems that you are solving and your solution for this problem and yeah you probably heard about writing of ai as well in programming so content marketing can help you with that as well Five in the afternoon. Pitch dark already.